That's right. That's right. That's right. Recluse! Hurry up, Calvin! trees down in the first two feet. Hoping to try out some new bikes today. Dave Man is on an O2 CR250. Definitely want to try that out. Yeah. 
That section wasn't bad at all. You what? Three trees down. Yeah. Now waiting for you to bring the chainsaw. Huh? Somebody down there? No, that's just trash. Oh, dude, they trashed the place up. I never even looked at trail two. This is the third, third leg right here. If I can get, I don't know if Calvin's ever been on these trails. What year is that Honda? Oh, two. It's clean. It looks good. We just sent the cylinder off, got it replated. It didn't, it didn't look anything like this when I got it. <laughs> really? He's getting ready to do the restyle it's kit on it. Up. It had stickers all over it. And I mean, the guy believed the stickers made it go faster. And... <laughs> it blew up on him the first 10 minutes because the guy he bought it from put regular gas in it. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 That was a mistake. He paid for the cylinder, though. Yeah, that's nice, huh? <laughs> Have you ever been on these trails? This side, I've only been on, like, two or three laps. Okay. I've never been over here. Okay, this is, set, this is what we call leg three. There's, there's no uphills. It's pretty much all just kind of creeping down the hills. But it might be kind of hard to see some lines, so just take it slow. Okay. And I wouldn't do it unless you have tuggers on your bike. Started it in gear, bro. Not, not too bad so far. Try to make the lines where these guys can see them. Through here. Where the heck is everybody? They're still at the top of the hill. Come on, you wieners! Oh, I love this recluse, man. Might have to. I love my stickers. Yeah, they're sick. I don't think we can pull it that big. Might have to try to break it. And just get a little bit more of it, we can squeeze around it. Uh, yeah, watch out. The whole mic out there. Ah, it's on my foot. It free rolls. Thanks, dog. Did Calvin make it? Where's Calvin? Ah! 
Mike or Calvin. Loop. It's all in pretty good shape. I'm pumped.
tighter. Not in that bad of shape, are they? Yeah, did you mess up over there? Oh yeah, fucking. <laughs> oh shit, what section? <laughs> fucking bent down. Oh man. It's probably the same shots we were hearing from the house. Man, that little dip right there always good. The dip up in the corner? Yeah. Yeah. You want to try this section? Nope. What? Nope. Is it smooth? No. Nope. Oh, it's our newest one, but it's, I mean, we worked it in pretty good. Like, okay. you can, you can pretty well see where to go. Which one, this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Until you get up to that corner, but. Uh, that one kind of open section across the top. It's hard to see where to go because all yeah, the leaves. It's, just, it's so open. And the turkey's been up there scratching. Yeah. You can't see where the trail is. But by the end of the day, you'll be able to. But there's two or three little very slow technical spots. So. There's one section you go through two trees and they're like this. You're like, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm all right if I get on something off camber and have to get off my bike. Right. That's when I'm. I'm well, if you get. If you have to get off your bike and get in a spot where you can't get it, then just sit there and when we come back around, I'll help you. Okay. Sick. It's always fun to watch somebody on this one who's never done it before because it's, it's different. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> 
looks like Mike stopped on the hill. Hey man made it. That's right. Corey way over there. Oh, he got stopped again. He stopped again. He's spinning. What do you think? Sketchy. Sketchy? For me it is. It's only sketchy the first few times you do it. Once you figure out the lines. That back there, that little dip, that's probably the worst part. Yeah. The dip over by the fence is pretty bad because that root is sticking up in that creek now. I got I almost went over the bars. Whose license plate was laying up there? You saw it? That was Corey's he lost last winter, and we looked for it for two weeks and couldn't find it. Oh, it was up there in the Where you stopped? Yeah. He just got a brand, he just, he just ordered a new one. Oh, really? Yeah, he looped out there last fall. Oh, it's back there. <laughs> Dude, he just found your plate. I saw it up Yeah. There. Oh. <laughs> these tires are probably the best money I've ever put into a bike oh they're awesome aren't they're they amazing. oh they're insane Have yeah the, the, like the i don't know if these are the knocked off of the other ones but the golden tires yeah we got those in stock they're like twice as expensive as these yeah they say they last longer but i don't believe it i, I don't think i think it's all in what you ride on what are those Chinkos. that's the 525 hybrid on the rear yeah. and is it 216 216, 216 fatty hybrid on the front dude they're super soft i i got the 505 but i got a regular on the front look at that they hook up like crazy the front one's softer now that's what you have to have if you're like riding this stuff all the time yeah i rode up at the house and we got a lot of like like uh, wet rock stuff like that and I went right across stuff like that and it didn't even try to slide. Nice. Like you almost got to like, you almost have to make it spin. <laughs> Guys are running like those with zero PSI. With, yeah. the, with the bib thing. No, with the uh, tubeless. Tube, there it is. Yeah, the tubeless. That's what I was talking about. I'm running the bibs, which is like 10 to 12 PSI. What are you doing, Moose? I am, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm about to put one on the front. I think I got like 13 in the front and 12 the, in the back. They're awesome because you don't have to, you don't have to worry about barbed wire or anything. Just run right over it. But uh, if you try to go like over 35 miles an hour, like if I pull it out on the hard road, the whole bike goes constantly because it's because it's all unbalanced. Yeah. It's just all over the place. It's a billy goat. It's a billy goat bike. Yeah. So when we build the next part of the trail. We're gonna like follow the fence line here and like cut up the hill there and just kind of me and Corey freaking worked our butts off last fall and every time we'd ride we'd add another one of these little loops and uh we're just gonna keep doing it till it circles the whole property line mm -hmm. and then start working some loops inside of that and see how many miles of trails we can get out of this 125 acres still nobody's made it around backwards yet I was wondering if we, we, if we do it backwards. I attempted, and over there where the, it drops off by the fence line, I couldn't get back up that. 
it was a, it was muddier. Probably could now in the dry, but um, you guys want? I th I thought you made it. I thought you made it. You were at the top, and so I kept going. I looked back, and you were like still there. He got all the way to the top, and it was like, mm. and that was it. I was like, damn. I mean, probably gone after that. Yeah. Well, do you now that all you guys know the the trail? Do you want to go see what we're working with with the turn track? Sure. And then we can just kind of bounce back and forth, ride whatever you want to ride.